Hello, in this video, I want to give you a little bit more of a walkthrough of Kinetic Text Animator. Let's look at this quick little sample here um, I've got, and I just threw this together, and this should sort of thing can take you just minutes to create in Kinetic Text Animator. Just a funny little, um, you know, meme video. But I've got just an image and a couple of text animations, and this sort of thing can be very quick once you understand how things work in Kinetic Text Animator. So I like to get you there as soon as possible. So uh, let's look over here. So over here we have the text animations that uh, were largely based around these text animations. Uh, you can roll over these eye icons to get a sense of each one of them. And you can actually also click on the eye icon for some more information, including a video on it. So um, over here on the timeline, each of these animations has uh, can, can is basically implemented when inside of an ana block. Sorry, I stumbled over that a little bit, but uh, so you you can see here that when I click on them, the information is all stored there. So I've got the text, the color, all of the settings here, including the grid position. So it, it kind of highlights that when I have the grid on. And so you get a sense of where things are. If I want to add a new animation, I can overwrite one by selecting it, or I can just click on the plus button there, and it's going to create an empty Anna block on which I can go ahead and apply a new animation. So I'll just put, you know, hello, everyone. And we'll just keep it simple. I'll just kind of leave it exactly where it's at. And you get, a, then it's just going to appear there. I can move it wherever I want. And so when that's done, it's going to play there. And this is really that easy. So the, the each of these Anna blocks again stores the information for the text. And if I want to go back and change it, let's say I wanted to go here and say, instead of saying my grandpa found a quarter, I can go, you know what, my dad found it. And um, I'll go ahead and apply that. And just like that, I've edited. So if I made a typo or decided to change the color or anything like that, I can make those changes quickly and easily. Click on the animated button again. There's actually one here and also one on the timeline. They do the same thing. So I can do that very fast. And so I can be, you know, move on and create my animation really, really quickly. Each of the uh, Anna blocks here, you can click on the left hand side, see where it changes. Uh, to that left right icon when I see that I can click and drag and I can shorten that animation and it's going to keep all of the beginning and ending part of the animation it just basically makes it last less time so um, when this animation plays the kind of the, the text is all kind of uh, you know appearing into the position or taking some time to assemble if you will and if I shrink that amount of time just that that's going to just happen faster and um, it's going to pause for a less amount of time and then do its exit animation faster. So uh, th that's how that works. Whereas with, with audio, for example, I can also do that. I can kind of what we, you know, I can go over the end. But with audio and video, if I move this, it's going to actually trim it. So it's not going to be the same as the Anablox. The Anablox over here are going to keep the entire animation, just going to take less or more time. Uh, but otherwise I can move them around, I can duplicate the blocks, and I can delete them. So let's say I don't want that animation, no problem, I just go ahead and delete it. Um, I can zoom in and out of the timeline to make it easier to see things if I want to. And uh, that, that is for the most part really what I, what I wanted to share with you in this first video. You can also add video and we'll take a look at that. There's all these assets over here, the library where you can import assets, um, the quotes, importing, exporting, and the settings where I can change the stage size if I want to. Um, but all of that we're going to cover in a separate video. I just wanted to, to get you a, a general sense of how things work in Kinetic Text Animator. And we'll take it from this point on in the next videos.